Hi, um, I just tried to film this video. I did two videos and my camera wasn't working on either one and I didn't know it and now I don't know what's wrong with it. So I thought I'd just jump on and do a video like this because it's been a, a week since I did one and you know, there we go. So today I just wanted to do a quick review on a product that I've been using about, I'd say about three weeks. I wanted to use it a while before I talked about it to make sure I liked it. And it did have a bit of a learning curve, but I wanted to tell you about it. Um, you've heard of it, don't worry. Um, it's about under eye circles. And mine are really bad. Uh, there's nothing, I've tried all different remedies for them. Um, you know, you hear there's all different reasons for dark circles. Allergies, uh, they can be hereditary. You're not drinking enough water. There's not enough moisture. You need more. A moisturizer under your eyes on and on you need more sleep there's so many things well I've tried everything nothing works so I've resorted to products um, I have I found a lot of products that work a little bit but nothing that really really covers them this I mean they look better than normal I think but uh, yeah so let me talk about it I don't I'm, I'm so scattered because my other one my other video didn't go up and it's making me nuts okay it's just benefits a race paste You've all heard people talk about it. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I was ready to go out and buy this, um, a couple different people, I think uh, Ellis for Living did a video on the Glamouflage by, I think, Hard Candy um, concealer, like serious concealer under the eyes. And um, I really wanted to try that, but it was like eight bucks. So you're wondering, when then why did you buy the Erase Paste? Because this is, I think this is $28. The reason is because I bought it during the uh, Sephora Friends and Family Sale, so I got 15% off, plus I had a gift card. So it cost me like $3. So this was a cheaper cheaper for me than the Glamouflage, if that makes any sense. So I thought, you know, I've heard Emily, Emily Noel talk about this. I've heard a lot of other people talk about it. I'm going for it since I had my gift card. So off I went to Sephora. I got the erase paste. I got home. I started using it. Okay. In the beginning, I, I've done all different kinds of methods to get it on, and they all work some. And I just choose whichever one I'm in the mood for that day. I've done the patting under the eye. You know how Goss makeup artist says, you know, pat, 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 pat. I've done that. It's a little bit tedious because this stuff is thick. Uh, you don't need very much. And that's why it's expensive, but it's going to last a long time. Here's what it looks like. It's hard to see, but it's got a little bit of a peach undertone or salmon color undertone, whatever that color is that people call it, that's supposed to help cancel out the blue. And I really think it does a good job. So what I do in the mornings, when I very, very first get up in the morning, I go in the bathroom and I immediately, before I even go get my coffee, I mean, I'm half asleep, I put my moisturizer on for the day. Now, I put on my under eye moisturizer and my face moisturizer that St. Ives my under eye is something else but anyway I put that on then I go have my coffee I read a little bit so it's gonna be at least 15 to half an hour 15 minutes to half an hour before I go do my makeup so all that's on then I come back and I put on my holy grail uh, origins Vita Zing moisturizer so I'm moisturizing twice but that Vita Zing I can't even describe how good that stuff is. The other day, I totally forgot to put it on, and I I went in there, and I started with my BB cream, and I don't use a lot of BB cream just because the, the Vitazing is so good. This is turning into a Vitazing review, but anyway, the Vitazing is so good that I just use the tiniest bit just right here of the um, BB cream. Well, I forgot my Vitazing for some reason that day. I started putting my BB cream on, and I'm like, what's going on? It was all streaky. It was all gross. It didn't look good. It didn't cover... I had forgot my Vitazing. So I took it right back off my face and put the Vitazing on and then put the BB cream on. So I've got my Vitazing on. My BB cream I don't put under here. I only put the erase paste. And like I said, I either do the padding method, but that's so tedious because you just want to do this and that that's not good either. I also use the e.l.f. stipple brush. Uh, e.l.f., let me get the exact name of it. Flawless, con flawless concealer brush love this thing for the under eye but again you kind of dab it on and then you kind of swirl it in a little bit 
and you start low and you work it up okay because if you get it right underneath it never it's listen a little goes a long way I'm telling you so anyway so I do that or I use my finger and then I take what's left on my finger and I do my eyelids just to make them kind of conceal, you know, just to, if there's any veins or anything that makes everything go away. So the other thing I like about this erase paste, I do think it works really, really well. I think it was worth the money because it's going to last a long time. I also, it has long, all day staying power. It stays fantastic, okay? But it's kind of tacky right after you put it on, you know, after you put it on and it doesn't detack all day long. You have to put something over it, like powder. So what I use, and I don't know the name of it, so I'm going to get my, I got this in some sort of a birch box or something. It's Smashbox. I think it's called Halo. Halo Hydrating Reflecting Powder. Okay. Hydrating. That's a good thing under your eyes, especially if you have circles. So I get this with a little tiny fluffy brush, and I just use a little bit that's in the lid, and I dab that over the um, erase paste to set it, and it really does a fantastic job without looking powdery because it's kind of hydrating. So it's Smashbox Halo Hydrating. Don't buy it on my account try it in the store, get a sample, whatever, because this stuff's expensive. Get a sample of everything you can if you're at Sephora. And then, you know, the, so I've got my BB cream and everything, and then uh, then I do a little blush, and then I put my um, Cody Airspun on top, but I don't put it under here. I don't add extra powder under there. I just put it around here, and then I'm done. So that's my review. I think it's a great product. Um... I, I, I'm going to try some of the other things. I used to use Fit Me Concealer pretty good, but just didn't just didn't have the staying power or the concealing ability of this. So, loving the erase paste. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too dim in here. It's real cloudy outside. It's been raining all day. Anyway, there goes my beach trip that I had planned for today. Totally going to the beach. I woke up totally not going to the beach. <laughs>